guys, and welcome back to Rolo Plays Breath of the Wild. My name is obviously Rolo. Anyway, in the last episode, we uh, struggled a little bit. We actually had our first game over, but in this episode, we are going to um, play some more Zelda. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know how to explain what we did. We went to... Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm supposed to go that way. But it's okay, because you can get over here anyway. Wait. Yeah, wasn't there something I was supposed to do over here? Yeah, there was. I'm stupid. Hold on. I'm sorry. Excuse me really quick. I gotta place one of these bad boys here. There we go. Easy, bro. I have the uh, microphone right next to my controller, so if you hear a lot more of the clicking today, I apologize. Traveler's Spear. My inventory's full. Oh. Yeah, um... I'm honestly thinking about getting rid of these branches because I don't need them anymore. <laughs> Some guy's going to come through here in a couple of years and be like, why are there random twigs on the ground? Alrighty. And then we should be good to end this shrine. This episode is going to be very cutscene heavy, I have a feeling. I'm just pretty sure it's going to be. Anyway. Let's do this. All right, we got the spirit orb. We've got four of them now, which is a good thing, because when you hit four, something cool happens. It's harder to hear footsteps when it's raining, making it the perfect time to sneak up on some monsters. All right, I'll remember that game. Ah. <sighs> So it's crazy. We're already four episodes into this. That's awesome. I'm having a great time with it, by the way. I was kind of worried about that. Anyway. Uh-oh. We did it. We did all four. Dude, it's cold here. Is this really the one you want to be talking to me at? With this, you now have acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Ho-ho, <laughs> extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Imagine an X on your map. With the four shrines at the endpoints, find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross, there I will be waiting. You know where that is, guys? Bump, 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 bump. Easy, right? It's literally like right here. It actually would more so be right here, but the game wants you to know it's right here. All right, we got this. So we're gonna head back to the Shrine of Resurrection. This might be the last time I actually fast travel there. I don't know, for at least for a good bit. I don't see myself going to the Temple of Time that much in this LP. You'd be shocked of how much you actually do end up going there. It's not that often, but we're already over an hour into this game. You basically spent the first hour of this game doing the, this tutorial uh, thing before you learn about most of the story of the game. That, which, for a Zelda game, this one's got more story than a lot of them. Um, not saying that Zelda games don't have story, because believe me, they do. But some of them, the story's a little lacking, I'm not going to lie. Uh, case in point... Uh, what, Minish Caps doesn't have that much of a story. I, it explains how Link got his hat. But this game, Link doesn't really have a hat, now does he? Um, you can get him one. You can get him several, actually. Uh, and we will be doing that. That's one thing I think that's really cool about Nintendo this generation, is they experimented a lot with their main character's looks. Like, they changed Mario's clothes. Like, remember back in the day where they were, like, with Mario Sunshine, where they didn't even want Mario, like, having short sleeves? And now you can dress them up pretty much any way you want in that game. I think that's pretty cool. I would like to do Mario Odyssey LP one day. I don't know. I'm not that good at Mario games. Like, I, I suck at 64. I'm great at Sunshine, which ironically is the one that everybody says is the hardest. But this isn't Mario. This is The Legend of Zelda. And it is one of the best Zelda games, if not the best now. 
I think it plays better than like, every other Zelda. Like, if I'm going to be honest, that's the one compliment I can give this game. It plays amazingly. It's so smooth. It's so fluid. You can't get in this way, can you? I mean, it, it doesn't matter to me. I can get in no matter what, but... Oh, here we go. Come here, buddy. And you're dead. Thank you. Can I get your book goblin horn? Yep. Awesome. There should be more people in here, isn't there? <gasps> There's pots. Oh, really? Look what's in here. Is there a tunic in here or something? A traveler's bow. Ugh, whatever. I actually haven't been using my bow. I should use it more, shouldn't I? Okay. Let's talk to the statue. There's a reason why. Let's pray. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. I can exchange for, uh, I, in exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me, what is it that you desire? I desire more stamina right now. I don't find myself really having a difficulty with battle yet. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is every single time I'm going to flip-flop. Stamina, heart, stamina, heart, stamina, heart. You usually want to go for more stamina in this game because there's a lot of climbing involved. And you want a lot of stamina for said climb. Bring peace to Hyrule. Oh, we will. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here, quickly. Well, looks like we gotta head up there. I wonder what was that blue light around him. But yeah, see, now we have just a little bit more so we can run just a teeny bit longer. It's not a lot, but it's enough. Anyway, there's a ladder here. Climb, climb, climb. Okay. You want to be careful up here. This isn't like Final Fantasy VII, you know, Midgar on top of the church. This is a lot more dangerous. All right. Here we go. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then. The time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. 
It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north.
Go on. Here is the paraglider, just as I promised. Paraglider, an item that you receive from the king on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Awesome, possum. I'm about it. All right. The isolated plateau complete. All right. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Alrighty, destroy Ganon is the new objective. Soldier's bow, which I will be using, the soldier's bow. Seek out Impa is the first mission that we're going to be doing. Uh, there are side quests, yes, but we're not gonna be doing those yet. Uh, we're definitely seeking out Impa first, and we're definitely not going after Ganon yet. That would be too short of an LP. Uh, even for a Zelda one, definitely for a Zelda one. Anyway. Yep, you can paraglide. Wee, woo. Easy, right? Uh, so now we get to actually journey into the world. It's awesome. We get to start our adventure. I know I keep saying that term. Oh, we get to finally start our adventure. But it's true. We now actually do. Um, I think I'm going to jump off this ledge here. Really quick. Wee. It's crazy how much we got to do, but I have my first objective. Uh, and I don't think we're going to do it in this episode, but we're going to get close. Every single episode, we're going to make our way through this gigantic landscape of Hyrule. Um, I'm going to climb up here so I can do my thing first. Um, it's going to take us a while to get to Impa. A few episodes, probably, because... We're not just going to be looking for Impa. We're going to be looking for shrines along the way. Before we can find shrines, I think it's safe if we find some towers as well, huh? Don't you guys agree? Well, that being said, I think we're going to head into that little walk pathway. Don't you? Let's go. We're finally making our way through Hyrule. We can say goodbye to the Great Plateau. And we're not... <laughs> what are you doing, Link? Uh, only in a Let's Play would that happen. Because I'm trying to show off, like, other things. We're now currently in Hyrule Kingdom. We're going to run into a few baddies. And by a few, I mean quite a few. Not gonna lie. There are quite a few bad guys in this game. The Outpost Ruins. I can't see half the screen, by the way. Like, I'm kind of just guessing. So, like, I'm looking at... It's the way my laptop is set up next to my computer. It's kind of... Not my computer. Next to everything. is kind of awko. What is this? Rusty Claymore. Okay. I'll take it. But as long as we don't run into any uh, Guardians, we should be okay. Guardians were the things that we saw earlier. Um, every... Uh, areas got its issues. Um, some areas got cold, some areas got, uh, the, the things, some areas got falling rocks, apparently. Those are moblins, not the coblins. Come on, buddy. Bam, bitch. Got him. No, I don't want Traveler Spear. I want the Traveler's Claymore. Got a Moblin Fang. Moblin Horn. And I, I'm not taking that, because that's a two-handed weapon. I don't like using two-handed weapons. The only reason why I'm using the Claymore is because it's cool. I like Claymores. I think when we get to that bridge, though, this will be the end of the episode. So I won't be playing until tomorrow. Hey, wait a minute. There's a Bokoblin here. A couple of you. Oh, eat it. Oh, you know what? I can't. I can't do this. I, I can't. Hold on. Ow! You guys are kicking my butt. I can't take you guys on this many. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I can't take on this many guys at once. I'm a wimp. Ah! 
Ah, uh, you know what? You guys can have. Not gonna lie. You guys can take. Oh, eat it, bro. And you're done. And you're still not dead. What are you doing here? And why are you? Why was the guy using a broom? I don't care how long, if this episode's a little longer than usual. I'm killing this guy. This guy's upsetting me. Do I not have? Oh, okay. Wooden mop. I'm not using that. But I will use a traveler's gear. Because I want this guy's weapon. Yes. Give me. I'll take it. Okay, or not. I'll just use a rusty claymore. And you're dead. I'll drop you. I'll drop you. You grab that. Let's equip that. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I'm pretty sure those are bokoblin guts. Ew. Okay. And we've made it to this bridge, finally. <sighs> Beautiful. And that's where I guess a few bokoblins live. Anyway, you can actually go down. We might go down there in the next episode. I don't know yet. Anyway, we're heading towards those peaks. In the next episode, guys, we'll see where those peaks will lead us, won't we? Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the flip side in the next episode of Rolo Plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.